morning and thanks for joining us for the CBS 19 This Morning Update. I'm Dana Healy. And I'm Clint Yates. Suspects in both of the Tyler Bank robberies this week are still on the loose this morning. Those robberies were two of the four that happened just over the past three days. Tyler Police Department has stepped up patrols around financial institutions in the wake of these robberies. Officers say the most important thing is to always be aware of your surroundings and report any suspicious activity. New this morning, the first wave of National Guard troops are in the Rio Grande Valley. They're manning observation posts at several locations. 50 guardsmen arrived earlier this week. They're part of about 1,000 troops called up by Governor Rick Perry. During a visit to a National Guard training center outside of Austin, Perry said the troops were needed to defend the nation. One man is on a mission to bring local artists to the forefront of the music scene. Paul Bebo is the founder of Hyperactive Radio. He says the rise of the internet has changed the playing field for local bands like Rocket Queen. How y'all feeling? Rocket Queen lives in Tyler. They're just one of the many talents featured on Hyperactive. It's a 24-hour internet radio station that plays East Texas music. You can sell your music and offer your music all over the world. And if you're good at creating visibility, and if you're great at uh, figuring out how to you know, build your career and you have somebody to mentor you, you can really work hard and you can actually create profile all over the globe. That's what Bebo is trying to accomplish through Hyperactive. He says he wants to develop more and more talent out of this workplace. If you have music you'd like featured on Hyperactive Radio, we have that information on our website. Just go to cbs19.tv and click on the hot button. You can find it on your computer, smartphone, or tablet. Hmm. Well, it is warming up out there this morning. Let's check in with Scott. Clint, Dana, your Friday forecast as we get ready to sail into the weekend together. Temperatures actually start to increase, feel a bit more like August over the next several days. Highs today reaching about 93, should be pretty close to 90 by noon today. We'll settle back down into the lower 90s, right around 90, 91, between 5 and 6 o'clock this evening. Big sprawling upper level ridge of high pressure in control of our weather picture here across the Lone Star State. Not only today, but for the next several days, there's a bit of a weakness in the ridge that will allow the disturbance now dropping through the central plains this morning to continue over the next 24 to 36 hours, settling south tomorrow, nestling its way into the Red River Valley during the peak heating hours of the day. So tomorrow afternoon, evening, and again Sunday afternoon and evening, a slight chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms. We'll continue that chance coming out of the weekend into the first part of next week. Check out your highs, more like August, mid-90s, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and in fact, over the next seven days, don't foresee any cooler temperatures in store for us. In fact, a week from today, upper 90s. All right, thank you, Scott, for the very latest all day long. Go to CBS19.tv or TylerPaper.com. Hope you have a great Friday and a great weekend.